This happened when I went to visit a friend from my student days and stayed over at his place. I have zero psychic ability and can't see spirits or anything like that at all. But my friend claimed to be psychic and said he could see spirits quite often. Since I personally like occult stuff, back when we were at the same university, I enjoyed listening to his various experiences. On our way back from drinking at a bar he frequented, he started saying he felt like something was following him. There were rustling sounds, but the wind was blowing. So I figured it was just a sound of dry leaps or something and didn't pay it any mind. I had forgotten at that moment that he was the guy who could see spirits. It creeped me out a bit, so we took a detour on a bigger road with car traffic. It wasn't even that far out of the way. And soon we arrived at the building where my friend lived. His room was on the sixth floor, so we took the elevator. After the doors closed, I felt like I heard something and looked at my friend. He also seemed bothered by something and was straining to listen. Faintly mixed with the whirring elevator motor, I could hear a scratchy sound. Scritch scritch. Like something scraping. If it were summer, I might think an insect had gotten in and made the sound. But looking around, there were no bugs in sight. The sound seemed to be coming from above the elevator we were in. And I suddenly thought, it's like someone is up there scratching with their fingers. At that point, I still felt like, that's ridiculous. Just imagining creepy stuff. But both of us inexplicably fell silent as that scratching sound gratingly reached our ears. As I watched the floor display, I thought hurry up and get there. I'm sure my friend was thinking the same thing. When the light for the sixth floor came on, and I heard that it couldn't hum and felt the slight reverse key, I was honestly relieved. But just when I thought the door had opened, bang, 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 bang. Suddenly from above came a sound like steel plates being pounded hard. My friend looked up with a startled expression too. We couldn't stand it anymore and dashed out of the elevator, racing each other to my friend's room. He must have been panicking too, fumbling with the keys for a while, before he could get the door open. While waiting for him, I was on pins and needles. I kept glancing from him working the lock, to the door, to the elevator. When the door opened we rushed inside, immediately throwing the lock closed again. Kicking off my shoes, I headed straight to his room. Hey, what was that back there? I asked. Beats me, he answered vaguely. But I was bothered by it, and kept talking. You don't think there was a maintenance guy or something in the elevator? No way someone would be there this late at night. Maybe they were calling for help. But suddenly he shouted. That's not it. I was so startled I couldn't respond, and after muttering angrily for a bit. He said. They didn't call out for help or anything. Weird, right? Huh? Oh, you're right. Normally they'd yell help or something. Flustered by his forcefulness, our conversation petered out awkwardly. The silence was scary, so I left the TV on even though we weren't watching it. For a while we spaced out together. Kind of a dissociative state. Then suddenly, he started talking. Sorry for yelling earlier. Oh no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I was definitely shocked, but I wasn't angry or anything. Because the way he acted earlier was so serious. You can't see them after all. Oh, completely confused, I heard him murmur. There was a blood-covered leg hanging from the ceiling.